welcome to my new series with Carpath Edison Draft. We're opening one pack of each core set until Absolute Power Force, the last legal Edison set. And then with the pool of cards we pull each week, we make our decks better and better. And by the end, hopefully we will have some Edison level decks. In the first episode, I cheated. I, I cheated so much. I did not know that you cannot send uh, wave motion while Macrocosmos is up, so I just was shooting myself in the foot, playing my horrible stall burn strategy. But hopefully after this episode, our deck will develop and we can finally get the ball rolling on a few strategies. Speaking of strategies, Carpath pulled Drill Warrior and CED. So that's unsettling and terrifying. I may have pulled Yadagarasu and Delinquent Duo, two insane cards, but you can't really build around those. His two pulls could be developed into two insane decks, and so I need to get very lucky in this episode if I am even going to stand a chance. Okay, so we got cooked last week by Zuxid's burn deck, but now we have a shot at redemption, a chance to pull some all new sauce to potentially spice up our list here. Starting off with Legend of Blue Eyes, same deal, running it back the whole way up through Absolute Power Force. Let's see what we can get here. Nothing. Uh, we pull one Thunder Dragon. Giant Rat's neat. I'm definitely a fan of that card. Oh, no way! <laughs> Io, that is nuts. And also Gravity Bind, I guess, is pretty cool, although it's kind of an annoying stall card. All right, here we go. 34 packs starting now. Let's flip them up. Ultra Rare Gaia is not what we want to see. Magic Ruler. Oh my god. Pharaoh Servant. Gravity Bind. I don't want to play Stall Burn. Stop giving me stall cards, please. Okay, I love Hinu Kagutsuchi so much. Let's keep going. Pharaonic Guardian. Gravekeeper's Chief. Metamorphosis is one of those cards that I am so excited to see. I really hope we could have pulled, or is that, I don't think, we, I think we missed Thousand Eyes Restrict, but yeah, definitely an interesting card that I would love to build around. Magician's Force. Um, oh, Tribe Infecting Virus is actually really good. Another Wave Motion Cannon, which we can't use. Autonomous Action Unit is fine, especially if his monsters are much better than mine. And uh, yeah, Tribe Infecting is really sick. That's a great pull. Another Spiritualism and another Fairy Box. Eh. Guard is decent. Scientist and Giant Orc. That's a heck of a pack. And this guy too, Roulette Barrel. That card's not bad. All right, IOC round two. What are we gonna get? <laughs> Nothing. Dark Crisis. No Berserk Dragon, but another final countdown. And Ojama Trio. And Iron Blacksmith. There's a few interesting cards in this pack. Oh. Not what I wanted to see from Invasion of Chaos. No Chaos Sorcerer. Just nothing. Okay. Legendary Jujitsu Master is actually not a bad pull. Mystic Swordsman level 6 is... Wait, do I have 3 and 5? Wait a minute. Actually, that card is really bad. Okay, Wing Blast is really good. Honestly, probably the best card we could have gotten from this set. And Benkai is funny. Who knows? Maybe. A second Night Assailant. Yo, we got double Night Assailant. Not a lot going on for us in these GX packs, as is to be expected. Sand Moth, I guess. 2k Defender. Probably not that good. Cybernetic Revolution. Can we get a Cyber Dragon? No. I mean, Spiritual Earth Art, maybe? This is not looking too good so far. Shadow of Infinity. Damage Condenser is actually pretty good. I might play that. Enemy of Justice. We have D Fissure. Baby Sarasaurus. Man, we are getting some bad pulls. Strike of Neos. Bad. Very bad. Force of the Breaker. Absolutely nothing. Tactical Evolution, nothing. Gladiator's Assault, nothing. Nothing even like 
remotely good. Oh, Majestic Mac Oka. That's our second Overload Fusion, I do believe. Air Neos, Ultimate Rare. Well, we're rich, but I don't know if we're going to be able to play it. Dark Gaia? I don't think we have access to Dark Colin. Okay, okay. Ooh, okay. Can we get any Synchros at all? No. Crimson Crisis, Powerwell is good in the future, maybe, and Verdant is fine. Half for Nothing is fine. Well, this is a crappy Phantom Darkness pack. Soul Rope, Cross Border. Hmm, Dark Resonator is okay, but we still don't have any Synchros. I stand corrected. We have a Iron Chain Dragon. That is very solid. Debris? Could potentially make the Iron Chain with that. <laughs> Silver Wind, the Ascendant. I don't think we have enough Black Wings to make this, really. Last pack, nothing. Raging Battle and Stardust Overdrive, Gem Spark. Faustian Bargain is actually something I was hoping to pull. Let's see, Absolute Power Force, last pack, Hodars. And Layer Wire, but um, yeah. These pulls were rough. Okay, so we kind of got clobbered in episode one. Well, well, not clobbered, but you know. We did lose, okay, and that's, that's at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Uh, I guess we had our, our moments with the Drill Warrior and stuff, but hopefully we can come back in Episode 2. I'm not sure how optimistic I am, though. Zooks' pulls were crazy in Episode 1. He had Duo and Yada and, like, a bunch of annoying Floodgates and stuff. Uh, so the, the, the stall burn strat was definitely scary. Um, but hopefully we can pull it back with uh, with this list we built for episode two because we have some sick pulls as well i mean imperial order could potentially be game winning definitely down the line the card's only getting crazier i have to imagine it's gonna get banned at some point same deal for ced we never saw it in episode one but if we do see it it's absolutely nuts uh i've decided to put some giant rat package in here um just because you know the quality of monsters we got is a lot better also notably we're up to double night assailant uh, which pairs well with the quick draw drill uh so this could potentially get out of hand very quickly if we start pulling more discard cards uh but yeah obviously the quality of our monster lineup is just generally improved we have better stuff like guard we have scientist which can just put out a 22 beater um that banishes things from the graveyard as well we got dimension capsule to get this stuff someone pointed out that this card is actually even better than i thought it was because it bounces back to the hand didn't know that in episode one we also have double fairy box hopefully that is crazy i mean hopefully zooks is just not playing some annoying floodgate thing again if he is i guess we got the double spiritualism now uh i mean really we just need to draw cd to answer that though that's the big thing um i hope we see the chaos emperor this time around it was sad not seeing it in episode one and hopefully we can pull out the W here and uh, get things back to even this week. Our deck really does not have any coherent strategy. Although we picked up some good cards in Tribe Infecting Virus, Legendary Jujitsu Master, and Phoenix Wing Windblast, um, we don't really have a direction. I guess you could say this is technically a normal monster deck because we have these guys, Justy Break, and Fausty and Bargain, but even that is a stretch. Basically, our strategy is counteracting car pass strategies, but those were just his strategies from the first episode. Who knows what he has now? But I know for a fact he has Drill Warrior and CED. That means we are playing D Fissure, Macrocosmos, and Fiend Comedian. These all stop monsters from going to the graveyard, and although it does nothing for our deck, it probably will hurt his. Also, we have some interesting stuff for the Drill Warrior. Uh, Death's Counterblow kind of plays around it, attacking it directly, although it affects us as well. And Ojama Trio can fill up his zones, so maybe the Drill Warrior cannot come back. Um, there's some interesting stuff. We are threw in the Hinokagutsuchi, which is fine, but we are mainly playing Beat Down Turbo until we can get anything resembling 
a strategy. We pulled like some dragon cards, but they're just not worth it. Only one gem spark, and I only have two Geminis, which are really bad. So let's see if we can pull out a win, but uh, I do not have high hopes at all. Let's get into the duels. <laughs> I vow to win RPS this time. All right, car path. Yes. Oh, okay, that that is that's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. Yes. At all. Especially considering the state of my deck, but oh, still a zero card extra. Huh? Pathetic. <laughs> you have a four card extra. Four card extra is where it's at. Um. Oh my god. Let's start with different dimension capsule. That's okay. right. This card is... Uh, I actually love this card. What do I even get off this? Do I get that? Maybe I do just get that. Just to make wow. sure it's, make sure I can summon it. Uh, Alright, I'm going to banish this face down. And I will set you. And I shall also set you. Go ahead. Alright. Okay, that's not too bad. Well, starting it off, I gotta show you the card. That, oh uh, no, the card. I'll show you the card. Ah, oh, crap, let's go. I'll pay a thousand, and I will do one, two, three, four, five, six. And so this one, mm. the rhino. He's <laughs> still in the back You're somehow. Still on the rhino. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how, but I love, you know, he's, no, no, I love that card. Yeah, this would be a lot easier if I remembered what my deck looked like. Um, I will just pick, uh, yeah, Gale the Whirlwind, I guess. Okay, that is actually a very good card. I'm now going to normal summon a Sirocco. I see. I will go to the battle phase and attack. Um, sure. I'll Ooh. use my giant rat. Okay, that's I don't a, even remember what my giant rat targets are. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Um, oh, that's not a bad one. As it is, I think I do need to go for Golem Sentry. That is not bad at all. Okay, I will go to main phase two, set a back row, and pass. I just realized yeah. that you could banish like CED with your different dimension capsule, so that is. I, You're not supposed to know I have that card. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the, the episode. Okay, I'll bounce it to my hand. Eight hundred. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. Okay, I'll go to the main phase. I think I'll just try with this rope. Or oh my god, if it's. You don't have any lights. If it's bottomless trap hole, then... <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll normal summon the Sirocco again. It is not bottomless trap hole. I'll go to the battle. But it phase. is elemental absorber. Didn't play no around more the dark elemental dark. absorber. <laughs> you should have played around it. You gotta respect the elemental absorber, my man. Okay, with that, I'll just pass my turn. I think you will get your different dimension yeah. capsule. Could be anything. I gotta think about that. All right, I don't got to think about it. I'm going to bounce the guy back. Okay. <laughs> 800 again. All right. Step one and pass. Okay, so I cannot attack with dark monsters. No. That's actually a little bit of a problem. I am going to hammer shot. <laughs> you actually don't have a non-dark. <laughs> oh, I messed up so bad. <laughs> What okay. have you done? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to uh, set and pass. Set and pass. Uh, it's the play. I'm so scared that the, the people can see my POV now. They can know every I'll time I make a mistake. All right, I'll draw. Okay. That's interesting. I will flip up my nightmare penguin i see and bounce your monster and then i think i will tribute summon arcana force bro 
<laughs> Whatever this card is. Well, that's a guy. And I guess I have to flip a coin? Yes, so... I thought uh, this would do more damage, but if I get Tails, it will do less damage. So I guess I'll flip it. If the summon is okay, obviously. Summon's fine. Summon you is fine? Flip your coin, All buddy. Right, let's uh, let's see what happens. Heads? All right. Okay, that's... Have all the damage you take. That's not too bad. I'll go to the battle phase and attack for 2,400. I will go to main phase two, set another card, and pass. This Arcane of Force card is like a semi hand trap. I will set one and pass. Okay. I'll draw. That's pretty good. I will activate D Fissure. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. I will go to the battle phase and attack. Oh my god, <laughs> what's the light monster? Okay, then I will set a card and pass. Uh, summon power invader. Oh wow. Yeah, the, the, the summon is good. Um, let me think about this. I think I will activate half or nothing. Um,. I'll just stop. Okay. I think, yeah. Okay, I will end my turn. Okay. <laughs> mm, no, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the main phase. I will go battle and try to attack over your guy. Yeah, I'll normal summon my mad dog of darkness and then pass. Unfortunately, he is a dark monster, so we cannot attack. Okay. I'll kill him anyway. Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, he gets banished. Um, Another thing we have to do in this episode is, is try not to cheat, because I definitely cheated in the last one with the wave motion. Yeah, that's okay. And I am so <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll just go battle and attack. For 24 and then I will go to main phase 2 and I will set a card and pass I will set a monster and I will pass all right I'll draw I will normal summon my favorite card saber Saurus. I see I will flip up Truck Roid. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Alright. Go to the battle phase and I'll be 100 off. Um, yeah, I'll try to go for lethal. I'll, I'll attack with Sabersaurus. I will activate Brain the... Jacker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I might have bad news for you. I think we should look it up, but I'm pretty sure this doesn't work if it's marked for destruction. Really? Why can't it become an equip card? That doesn't make any sense. I, I have an ulti version of this, and I really tried to put it in a few decks, and I think it, like, I realized one day it was really bad. But right, I well, do... this card be oh, okay. I'm gonna have to side that out for something. Did you did you check if it was? Let yes. Just... Yeah, I, 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 that was, like, one of the first ultis I ever pulled, found that out. Card has an like, ulti printing. It does, it actually does. <laughs> I will go first again. All right, game number two. Oh God, this is something. I will T set. That seems reasonable to me. Anything in standby? Dust shoot? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, oh man, that card's a common though. I'm just saying. It is a common. It is a common. Um, car path. I'm I'm so sorry. I just duo it again. Duo two games in a row. Um, I guess we'll go just one, two, three, four with the sure. dice. Oh, you know what's funny? What? Do you have do you have a response oh, to duo? You're about to find out. Don't worry. I'll just pick this one. 
Well, you have hit the rampaging rhinos again. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Incredible. I will... Truly remarkable stuff we're seeing here. I'll summon Sabersaurus again. This guy keeps showing up. I'll go to the battle phase and attack. Am I a fool? I'm gonna flip Fairy Box. Fairy Box. Ready? Can you flip this card in the damage step, by the way? I'm just, just wondering. You know, I'm the wrong no person to ask. Alright, heads, baby, heads. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Okay, how much am I taking? Also, it's a guard, and you go back to the hand, but... Mostly, I'm just happy about the heads. Okay, okay. I will set two cards and pass. All right, I'm going to pay for the fairy box. I'm going to summon Spirit Reaper. Oh my god. Okay, that is bad. Yeah. That's right, we're getting in. All right, that, that is going to connect, unfortunately. Yes! You now it's your turn. You might see a new card I pulled. Is it this one? Okay, that is not the new card I pulled. Um, yeah. That is that is my boss monster, the Saber Sword. <laughs> Alright, well that's about all I got for now, so go ahead. Alright, I'll draw. Okay, I'm going to show you the, the, the best card I pulled in this most recent episode. The best card you pulled? Alright, let's see it. Mm, actually, I'm going to play this slightly differently. I am going oh. to normal summon the best card. Drive Infecting Virus. I see. And then I, I will activate Pineapple Blast yeah, on the summon. This? It's like a Eat really me. bad sort wait, of... Wait, wait, when you normal summon, if your opponent controls, your opponent chooses monsters they control. Yeah, so basically uh, you just have to send one. Like, you get to choose which monster. So we, we have the same amount. I'm going to choose Guard. Okay, yeah. And then I will activate this effect... Pitching, I guess I'll call Spellcaster. And I think I'm actually going to chain to the effect, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. I think sure. I can chain this, uh, the macro, to the effect. Why are you playing macro in DiFi? Because I saw you had CED. Hmm. I'm, is that bad? It might be bad, but you got to discard a card. Yeah, I do. Okay. I'll discard this card. Um... Gets banished, and I will. Uh... <laughs> what the hell is this thing? I don't know. It's I some see. super. Okay, I'll go to the battle phase and I'll attack, and then I'll take. Oh, I'll you don't want a fairy box? Oh yeah. I'm gonna call tails this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're just too good. We're just too good. And then I will just pass. I'm gonna pay for the fairy box. I'm also going to summon one of my new pulls, which is this guy. Oh. And I will bring out Dark Blade of the Dragon Knight. Okay. That's pretty and good. I'm going to attack with Dark Blade of the Dragon Knight. Okay, I will take this 600. And I will banish the guy. I'll attack with this. Take 300. During my end phase, he return to the extra. Okay, I have to now, get very you lucky. Now, you scientist, but there is a 50% chance <laughs> that it will go wrong. I'm just saying. Oh, man, it's I'll giant. Orc. giant orc. Sure. And I believe. All right, I'm going to go with tails again. Nope. Okay. Nope. This will go to defense, though, and then I will pass. Mm. And I think, yeah, this guy will get banished. I'll pay 500 for fairy box. And then... Set a monster and pass. All right. Set another card. Pass. Hmm. I'm going to flip summon a roulette barrel. Oh my and god. Use the effect with priority. That effect is good. Unfortunately, we missed. All right, we're just going to attack then. Yeah. This will get banished. Oh, I didn't pay 500 for fairy box this turn. That is that is my win condition, is you paying for fairy box. <laughs> All right, I will end my turn. All right, I'll draw. Hmm. I will just have to pass. Okay, I'm going to flip this in my draw phase. What is this? During each of your you now lose 300 life points, right? Oh my god. 200 life points, my bad. <laughs> Although, I think Tribe should be banished. Oh yeah, I and think it should be. There is 300 life points. 
four is it four hundred now? Oh my god. Three hundred. Oh is it oh for each only monster. monster. Oh my god, what an incredible card. And I will pay for the fairy box. Yeah, let's attack for eighteen. I will take that eighteen hundred. Alright, you are free to go ahead. Alright. That is actually an insane draw. Oh, wait, um why is this thing this thing is continuous, it should just stay here. Oh yeah. Oh that is probably going to kill me at some point. Okay. It could. It might, perhaps. The card I drew is my one side deck card that I probably should be main decking. Trap Eater. <laughs> I'll eat your, one? your fairy box. I see. I think I have to kill the gymnast, I think. Although I can't get over your other guy. Um, yeah, I have to attack the gymnast, I think. And then main phase two, I will activate Kaiser and pass. All right, well, you lose 300 life points. I will lose 300. <laughs> I will use the roulette barrel and roll a four. Nope. I guess it's this card then. Oh, you could roll a six-sided die twice with roulette oh, barrel. Oh, it's twice. Bro, why didn't I... Oh, okay, my God. Let's see. We screwed up. All right, we rolled okay, a two. Okay. I screwed up the first time I roulette barreled, dude. I, it's always something. <laughs> it's always something. Okay. Um, so this little guy will get banished. I'm gonna put him to defense and set one and pass. Okay, playing it slow. Um, I'm just gonna die to this um, grave robber's retribution. You have some turns. I will set a card and pass. All right, you lose 400 life points. Oh my god. Can I tribute someone under Kaiser? Yeah, I think so. If right you would. Uh, I'm gonna double check. Yeah, double check. We I'm can't have sure. another wave motion situation. Okay, they can tribute summon, it seems. In that case, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna tribute summon Battery Man Charger. Oh my god. You do oh, wait, not I can't. <laughs> I can't use the effect, though, because of Kyber's Oh, yeah. Funny. I will okay. attack. My legendary jujitsu master. Oh my god, he goes to the top. No, I think... Oh, oh wait, he gets run over, though. Right? I think... Oh wait, yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading him. Does, is he at 21? I think. Yeah, he is. he is. Okay, so this will get run over, and your guy will go to the top. Well, I think I lose now. I, I screwed up actually. What was I think? Okay. I could have just won that turn. I will just normal summon Insect Knight. Yeah, you got it. I could have flipped Trap Stun and then summoned CED, but I just didn't for some reason. So. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, you got it. I mean, I screwed up. No, I think it was pretty close games. I This second one, I really thought that you were going to give me. But opening Delinquent Duo twice in a row was kind of disgusting. Yeah, how were your pulls for the, the second uh, episode? They weren't very good in episode two. Uh, I got one card that was pretty good, I guess. And some okay stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I get in episode three, I guess. So, I guess it sucks that we lost. I pondered for a while about what to ban and then it occurred to me actually that the correct answer is a card i didn't even see this week but that we saw last week which is of course the bird i mean yeah um this is <laughs> this is one of the most annoying cards in the history of the entire game so bye <laughs>